Hi guys, my name is Camille Simpson and I'm a product manager here at 123 Edge. I am responsible for the website builder, email marketing and SEO products that you see on our website. Today, my goal is to show you how simple it is to create a website using our brand new editor, which makes it even faster to create your website. Hopefully, the insights I share with you will encourage you to start building your website today and get your business online. Now I'm going to run through the basics of getting started with Website Builder. The great thing about Website Builder is the easy to use drag and drop interface, which allows you to quickly create your own professional website without needing to know how to code. Amongst the many design widgets, which will help you to structure your website, there are many popular features such as social media buttons, video widgets and Google Maps that can be added to any page on your website. Once you're ready to start creating a website, you can start by selecting your own customizable template. Template selector is great as you can select a style which matches your business need. There are loads to choose from and they're all mobile tablet and desktop responsive, meaning they will work and look great on any device. If you have a website online or a Facebook page for your business, you can use the import content tool to easily pull in your images and other content straight into the gallery, which can then be used to create your new website. Have a think about the overall aim of your website and what its purpose is. Try to choose images that best promote your services or what you're selling. This will help to entice potential customers to want to stay on your website and increase user engagement. You can also enhance your website with any videos you may have, your social media accounts and maps to help your customers locate you. Now let's look at your website in a bit more detail. If you're creating a website for the first time, it can be intimidating to try and figure out the best way to lay all your elements out. You might have trouble deciding how many pages to add, where to put text and images, or even how to build up your pages. Within Website Builder, there are many tools which will help you to easily structure and lay out your website. With your selected template, you'll be given a default set of pages. This may include an About Us, a contact page, and your home page. If you wish to change the name of any of the pages, simply click on Pages. Click on the settings icon and then click rename. This will update the page name in your menu navigation bar and anywhere else you see the page name. Once you have all the pages you need for your website, you can use the widget menu to add in boxes for your images and other content. These boxes are also really great if you're building up a page from scratch. Just drag and drop the box you want straight onto your page. You can then click each box and swap out the template images for your own and add in text to describe your own business. If you have a contact us page, you can easily add in lo a location map so your customers can see where your business is and know how to reach you. It is really important that this information is easily accessible in order for your potential customers to contact you. If you already have social media accounts set up for your business, then you can add these onto your website, drop in the social media widget and then customise it with your own details to get your accounts active on your site. Remember, all of the elements are easily customizable and the great thing about drag and drop is that you can choose exactly where you want each widget to be placed. You can delete any boxes or areas that you don't need for your website by right clicking on the section and clicking delete. Okay, so the look and design of your website is hugely important. If your website design doesn't look professional or doesn't advertise your business, then it's not going to appeal to your potential customers. You may already have some idea of how you want your website to be designed, but aren't 100% sure on how you can achieve the look that you want. If you click on design within the global text menu, you'll be able to select and change the font of your website. You can also change the font, color and size. You can also change the size and color of your headings. Changing this will affect all of the headings across your website. In tablet and mobile layer, you can decide how your mobile and tablet users will view your website. In site background, you can choose an image which will be used for the background for all of your pages. And you can also select to have individual backgrounds for each page. But if you'd prefer, you can choose to use a background color instead. Try to use a variety of images across your website which promote your business. You can also use color overlays for your images which will help your text stand out in important places. It is also important to have high quality images to give your website a professional look and make people stay engaged with the content that they are viewing. Remember that the design is an integral part of your website, so it is worth investing some time into creating a great user experience and a site that looks professional and stands out. 
Great design creates user engagement, poor design doesn't. This is a good time to start thinking about any of your own images and content you want to add to your website. Let me show you how easy it is to import these using Website Builder. Click on content. You can then use this section here to update your business information. Simply add in your business phone number, email address, and business address, and you can also connect to your Facebook and other social accounts within this menu. Just remember to click save once you're done. If you already have a website online, you can use Website Builder to import your existing website content into your new website. Simply right click over the section where you wish to place the text and click on full text. You can then enter in your Facebook page or web address, highlight the text that you want to add in, and this will import the text into your new site. This also works for images. Just click on the green import content button. Now type in the URL for your existing website and click on import. This will import content from the website, including your images, your contact information, and anything else you may have, such as videos. If you wish to upload any additional images you may have, click here on upload new image. You can then simply drag and drop your images or pull them from one of your online services by clicking here. Once your content is uploaded, it will appear in your image library. To upload other types of files such as videos, simply click the manage file option. Now you know how to create a website, it's time to see how you can tailor it to your customers using the personalization tool in your website builder package. So, say you're targeting local visitors to your website. Click on visitors nearby. Click on edit rule and then simply click which devices you would like the personalization to appear on and click next. You can select the location. So say your business is located in Northwest London, you can create a rule so that anyone visiting your website who happens to be in close proximity to your business will see this pop up on their device. Click on next and you can decide which page you would like the personalization to appear on. With all this effort you've put into building your website, you'll want to make sure it gets seen. I'm now going to show you how you can improve the visibility of your website using the SEO tools in your Website Builder package. Within your Website Builder package, have a look in the settings menu. Click on site icons and just here you will see the favicon option. This is a small icon which will appear in the browser tab when a customer is viewing your website. So you may wish to use your company's logo to make it easily recognizable. Now click on SEO and we can add in some settings to increase your website's visibility. Just here, you can type in a site title. This is the name of your website. This title can be taken from your website's domain name. Your site description is exactly what it says. Just write a short description of your website in here. Be sure to keep it relevant to what your business is about. This will help search engines such as Google to better understand what your website is about. And just here, you can enter in some keywords about your business. If you have any questions, please, please, please tweet us or drop us a message on Facebook so that we can answer any questions you have about creating your website. Alternatively, we have a lot of detailed support articles and videos which provide step-by-step -step guides to help you with all aspects of Website Builder. Good luck with creating your website and I hope you get your business online soon.